You are about to join us on an adventure. My name is Wanger Wedgie, intrepid explorer, former marine, Bible lover, and friend to animals everywhere. I've traveled the four corners of the globe, climbed mountains, forged rivers, and faced countless dangers to bring you the world's most interesting creatures. This is Quitter Kingdom. Welcome back to Quitter Kingdom! <laughs> I always forget that. Well, I am Winger Wedgie, and uh, all of you are aboard the Safari Express! <laughs> Today, we are making a whistle stop in a beautiful faraway country of Colombia, South America. There it is on the map! Now, even though Colombia is all the way in South America, it's closer than a lot of other places. It's only 1,719 miles away. Because see where Florida is? All you have to do is jump across the ocean. <laughs> now, it's a very big land, which means it must be filled with a lot of beautiful creatures. <laughs> and every week, we pick one of those animals to study. We call it our... Quizzer Vita! Let's see if Handsome knows today's creature feature, Handsome. Oh, there you are. Hi, Handsome. Handsome, can you say hello in Spanish? Ooh, I like that. <laughs> we say owa. Well, owa to you, Handsome. Handsome, do you have a quitter clue to tell us today's creature? Oh, here's the clue. It's, what? it's, a, it's a bag of sunflower seeds. That's it? OK, well, thanks, Handsome. Wow. Well, what kind of creature would eat sunflower? A bird. You're right, a bird would eat sunflower seeds. Yeah. What, a pigeon? You think it's a pigeon? It is a pigeon! Oh, excellent. Well, that makes sense because you know what? Pigeons are found all over the world. Wherever you go, they live everywhere. But their favorite place to live is way up high, like on top of a building oh, or under a bridge. Or maybe even up on a billboard. Yeah, they like to put their nests way up high in the clouds. And today, I met, right here in South America, right here in Colombia, a man who knows a lot about pigeons. Let me introduce him to you. Welcome, if you will, Father Pedro. Hola. Hola, niños. <laughs> Buenos dias. Buenos dias to you, Father Pedro. Now, now, do I call you Pedro or Father? Well, uh, you can call me uh, Padre. That is the Spanish word for Father. Yes. Oh, I like that. Padre Pedro. <laughs> yes. Oh, and who do you have here? Oh, this is my friend, Ronaldo. He is una paloma, a carrier pigeon. I've trained him to carry messages to all the local villages. Wow, that's great. Now, Father Pedro, uh, Padre Pedro, uh, you live in a very famous church in South America. Yes, oh, see, sí. I live in La Iglesia de las Lajas. La Iglesia de... de, de, de. <laughs> no, 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 La Iglesia de las Lajas. Oh. Uh, como se dice en inglés? Uh, oh, the Church of the Rocks. The Church of the Rocks. Look sí. at that, kids. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, it's yes. like it's carved right into the landscape. <laughs> very nice, Padre Pedro. So, Padre Pedro, how did you first get interested in training pigeons? Well, there are many pigeons who live in the cliffs near La Iglesia de las Lajas, and they like to roost in the, uh, the arches of our sanctuary. So, so since they already belong there, I began to feed them and train them. So you're saying that pigeons actually live in the arch of your temple? Oh, see, we like to say that the birds come to hear the prayers of the saints, and they bring their messages to God, El Señor. Oh, that's beautiful. And it reminds me of today's Bible lesson, because today's Bible lesson is all about prayer. Let me get out the Bible and show you right now. <laughs> The parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector. Oh. Now, Padre Pedro, would you like to help me teach this Bible story? Oh, see, si. I love la palabra de Dios. You love what? La palabra de Dios, the word of God. Oh, the word of God, that makes sense, yeah. Uh, well, see, si. I'll tell you what. 
Why don't I pick some volunteers to help us, Padre okay. Pedro? I'll get a couple of kids now. Oh, yes. I no, need I a young, well, yes, uh, a young lady. How about you in the stripes? Yeah, come on up. And maybe a gentleman. You, sir, would you come up? Yeah, come on up here. Excellent. All right. All right. Now, we're going to have, what's your name? You stand we're going right to have Charlotte here. play the Pharisee, and we're going to have Jake play the tax collector. Right here. All right, now, Charlotte. Since you're the Pharisee, they were very religious and very proud. And they wanted everyone to notice how holy they were. So you can wear the, golden, the, the prayer shawl and the Ooh. golden religious hat. Very and nice. step up on that box because you want to be up real high where everyone, including God, can see you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh bueno, perfect. bueno. And you are, como se dice, un tax collector. So. Now, the tax collector's job was to take other people's money. Mm -hmm. So everyone hated him. So he did not want to draw attention to himself. Okay, put on estas ropas y este sombrero, these old clothes and this hat. <laughs> All right, there we go. Very nice. <laughs> Very humble. <laughs> yes. Humilde y vanidoso. <laughs> All right. Now let's read the story. Two men went up to the temple to pray. One, a Pharisee. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the other, a tax collector. All right. The Pharisee bueno. stood by himself and prayed. God, I thank you that I am not like other people, whoppers, evildoers, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and give a tenth of all I get. Oh, muy bien, Pharisee, el campeón. <laughs> but the tax collector stood at a distance. He would not Don't even look, look up to heaven. Don't look up, look down, mira, abajo. He would not even look up to heaven. But he beat his breast Ooh. and said, what? wait, 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 Padre Pedro, what, what, what are you doing? I beat his breast. No, he didn't beat his breast with a baseball bat. Oh. <laughs> he beat his own breast with his fists. <laughs> Lo siento, so sorry, <laughs> so sorry. He would not even walk up to heaven, but beat his breast and said, God have mercy on me, a sinner. Oh, muy bien, tax collector. I tell you that this man, rather than the other, went home justified before God. Because for all those who exalt themselves will be humbled. Oh, humble yourself. Kneel down. Kneel down. Yes. And those who humble themselves Pobrecito. will be exalted. Hooray! El Nueve! Where's your hand? El Nueve Campeon! <laughs> Hooray, tax collector! <laughs> Didn't they do a great job? Yes, wonderful. Let's give wonderful. them a round of applause. You guys nice can take a work. Seat. Let me Thank you. All right. Thank you, Jake. Excellent. All right, you guys can have a seat. Thank you both very much. Now, Ranger Reggie. Yes. The Pharisee was trying to do the right thing, no? Oh, see, yes, the Pharisee was doing all the right things. She was praying, she was fasting, that means not eating, and she was giving to the church. Oh, see, then why did this not please God? Well, because she was also judging others oh. and bragging si. and showing off. Si. You see, when we serve God, we should be humble. Oh, yeah. Padre Pedro, God looks at the attitude of our hearts, not at all the deeds we do. That is true. Yeah. God loves us with our whole heart, and he loves us this much. <laughs> oh, Ranger Reggie, lo siento. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Está bien. Está bien. Oh. Oh no, he got hit on the head so hard he thinks he's a pigeon. Pigeon Reggie, is there anything I can do to help? Say that again, is it? Say the critic kingdom crow. Okay, well, let's all stand up and say it with us. Raise your right hand. I will love God with all my heart. I will love my neighbor as myself. I will be a light wherever I go. And stay standing. Uh, Ranger Reggie, do you want to sing the camp train song? Okay, well, let us sing. All right, well, in order to get that done, I'm going to need a little help. I need a conductor. Let's see. Would you like to come? Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and lift our critter. And all the way up. Let's go ahead and pin him down with this thing here. And let us go up here. Can you get up? Hat, please. All right. But Muy tengo bien. una pregunta. Una pregunta. What does that mean? I have a question. What does the fox say? No, 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 no. My question is, what does a pigeon say? 
Wait, let's try that. You gotta roll your R's like you come from Colombia. All right, Miss Conductor, Conductora, are you ready to roll? Yeah. I think we can do this little song. Here yeah. we go. Let's go a little slow. What do you want? I spied a pigeon swooping by. Jumped on the trail. Super fast. Here we go. I spied a pigeon swooping by. Jumped on the train and had a cry. Let me just tell you what you will see. All the water come right with me. The pigeon is here to lead the way. The ostrich is here to lead the way. The seagull is here to lead the way. My, 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 the turkey is here to lead the way. Squish, squish, the ball is here to lead the way. Rock, 